The Logitech MX Ergo and the MX Vertical are two very different mouse experiences because with the MX Vertical, you get this vertical mouse that puts your mouse in the handshake position as Logitech calls it. So your mouse is sideways and then you're able to move your pointer just by barely moving your wrist. And it's honestly really comfortable, although it's a very different experience to use. And then with the Logitech MX Ergo, this is a trackball mouse, so you actually don't move the mouse at all. You put your thumb on the side and you use the trackball to move the cursor around the screen. And in this video, we're going to show the differences between the MX Vertical and the MX Ergo. We're going to talk about when you should buy the MX Vertical or when you should buy the MX Ergo. Both of these are part of the MX series by Logitech, so they have built-in batteries that are rechargeable, and they also have a lot of customization through the Logi Options Plus app. But using the mouses is honestly really different. So with the Logitech MX Ergo, you get a micro USB port to charge it, and with the MX Vertical, you get a USB-C port to recharge it. So I really appreciate that on the MX Vertical. Also, the MX Vertical is really nice because it has the easy switch button on the back, which allows you to quickly cycle between up to three saved Bluetooth connections. On the MX Ergo, you can only save one Bluetooth connection, and you also get a USB unifying receiver with it as well. The MX Vertical also comes with a USB receiver, so you can use that if you don't want to use Bluetooth on your computer. Both the MX Ergo and the MX Vertical also come with several customizable buttons. You can adjust what the scroll wheel does when you click it. There's also a button on the side of either mouse. And on the MX Ergo, you get two buttons on the top. On the MX Vertical, you get two buttons on the side. So it is a little bit different with how you use the buttons, but there's the same number of customizable buttons on both of these mouses. Both of these have good scroll wheels, and the scrolling is about the same volume on them but the MX Vertical does not have side scroll. There's only vertical scroll. On the MX Ergo, you can do vertical scroll or you can also do horizontal scroll just by clicking the scroll wheel to the left or the right. And you can also customize what clicking the scroll button does on it too. So that's really nice. On the Logitech MX Vertical, you're stuck with the one angle it's set at. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. On the MX Ergo, there's actually two angles you can adjust it at. So you can have it on its side like it is now, or you can just press the mouse down and it goes to a flat position. I find that I change back and forth between both positions as the day goes on and I'm using this mouse. Both of them are very comfortable and I really think that Logitech knows how to make an ergonomic mouse. I didn't find one mouse to be more comfortable than the other. I did find the MX Vertical felt a little bit more familiar because I'm used to moving my wrist around for mouse functionality, but on the MX Ergo, it did take a little bit longer to get used to the trackball. I also found I prefer the MX Ergo for design work and I prefer the MX Vertical for video editing work. Both of these also have a precision mode on them so you can adjust your pointer sensitivity. So you can have the pointer move with barely any movement at all and then you can make the pointer move really slow with the precision button. Or with the MX Vertical, you can use that precision mode where you barely have to move your wrist at all and it'll move a long distance. Or you can activate the precise version where you do have to move your wrist around a little bit more if you want more precise movements on it. Both the MX Ergo and the MX Vertical come in at about $100 so they're very similarly priced. I feel like they have all the same features. The MX Ergo is quite a bit heavier than the MX Vertical though, but I'm not really sure if that's going to matter for most people because the MX Ergo is just going to sit in one position on your desk. So which of these two should you buy? The thing it really comes down to is if you want to use a trackball mouse or if you don't want to use a trackball mouse. If you're afraid that using your thumb to adjust the pointer is going to be too strange for you, you should probably just go with the MX Vertical because it does take a little bit of getting used to having it on its side, but it feels a little bit more natural to hold the mouse on its side than it does to just use your thumb to move the pointer. But if you're really not wanting to have any wrist movement at all, then you should go with the MX Ergo because it is going to be a really comfortable experience to use. I love that you have two different angles you can set it at. And I also really love the vertical and horizontal scrolling on the scroll wheel that you get with this mouse. But with the MX Vertical, you do only get the vertical scrolling, which is going to limit you a little bit more. If you're interested in the vertical mouse, they do also have the Logi Lift, which is a little bit different than the MX Vertical, but it's basically for people who have small to medium sized hands. And the MX Vertical is for people who have medium to large size hands. I recommend most people go with the MX Vertical over the Logitech MX Ergo though, just because it is gonna be a little bit more familiar to use, even though the mouse is turned on its side, it's just a more standard use case than the MX Ergo is. So you really can't go wrong with either the MX Ergo or the MX Vertical. I would recommend just picking if you wanna use the trackball or if you wanna still move your wrist around to move the pointer. That's gonna choose if you should buy the vertical mouse to move your wrist or buy the Ergo to use your thumb. So if you are interested in buying either of these mouses, I do have links in the description below. But if you have any other questions, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.